Trying to get a bit of farm up in the jungle still. Mm, get, getting that skewer just as Darkseer was waving his hands to cast the surge, so uh, damage from skewer just tipping it over the edge there. Very nicely done indeed. Um, we've got we've got the Sven. He's had his modest for a while. Oh, nice hook shot from Intel. Telekinesis goes out, going to drop him out of his own power cogs. Great use of telekinesis there. Uh, barely bare man and having the soul catch put on him and running away. None worse off for it. Uh, we do have the BKB up on Romantic now, he's sort of just farming, but the uh, Sven is a long way off, presuming that he is going to get a BKB, which does work very nicely with Sven. He's, uh, he's got his Drum of Endurance, he's got his Hand of Midas, he's sort of uh, a little bit behind as far as net worth goes. Difference in gold earned between the teams, the Radiant is sitting 5,000 in front, difference in experience earned. Uh, again, Radiant almost 4,000 in front, the uh, difference in experience is extremely volatile though, so uh, could go either way. Uh, do we have any up. smoke? Trying to catch another... Yep, double... Double arcanes, wasteless seeing them coming. Yep. Throwing down some nice wards there. Ah, yeah, they got spotted by the trap, of Radiant's course. bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Hamill's got his mech up now. Yep, mech up on Admiral. How far is Wasteless? Wasteless very close as well. Only about 60 gold that he's definitely going to get from this neutral camp. So both teams get it, both getting their mech up around the same time. Oh, putting that Observer Ward down on the high ground that, um, unfortunately Ascension had just put that sentry down. So that gets ripped up as well. Puck's definitely showing that uh, didn't have a fun time in the laning phase. Hasn't even picked up full boots yet. And until Puck gets that yeah, dagger, they, um... their initiation is not going to be exactly what they want. Yeah, the um, having to rely on the illusory orb for the initiation is really not what you want. It's so slow moving. It's very easy to get out the way of, um, and you sort of do want to have it for the escape. Quetzal having picked up a medallion of courage, just really wanting to stack on that bonus damage. Uh, and he's completely neglected Shadow Poison in his leveling progression, but, um, yeah, like I said, not something I would have advocated, but shit, you can't argue with the results. So it's definitely Radiant bottom room. tower seen better days. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got Hawkeye pushing on the bottom tower here, and, uh, all of Ascension pushing on the top. We got the Empower on Romantic, who, uh, of course doesn't get or need the splash, but the bonus damage on him is very, very nice. Looking to trade this tier 2 for the tier 1, and they might even... The Dyer might want to mine their top to tower. Radiant yeah, the tier 1 is... It's on about a third HP, so Hawkeye could Dyer's probably teleport tower. up and you the, the bottom tier 1 would still fall, but I don't really Radiant think anyone tower. wants Radiant to teleport into uh, all tower. that shit. You know, the Magnus Dyer's SK alone is something that you absolutely Dyer want to stay away from. Uh, so Sven picking up his Ogre Club, getting a little bit closer to having that BKB. Orb flying through and nicely clipping Romantic as he... Oh dear, Reverse Polarity comes out and the Skewer bringing them even closer. Burrow Strike, call down, Epi Center. Dream Call, I believe, interrupting the Epi. Call down, very nicely hitting them. Bear Man and popping the ulti. Romantic got his BKB. The Wall of Replica goes down. Hawkeye's on sweet fuck all, but still wants the kill. Romantic turns around to finish it up, waiting till that refraction was down very nicely. Holy shit. They lost the mag very early in that piece, as well as the... Uh... Thanking, but Quetz is sitting there behind the line. Nibbling mm. away at those other heroes. Very, very nice positioning by Quetz this entire game. And Shadow Demon is one of those heroes that will really reward good positioning and really punish you if you're caught out of position. Um, no, I I feel that losing a Magnus in in an engagement like that is acceptable. He managed to blink in, get off the RP, and he got off the skewer. Dyer's like once he got off that RP, if Magnus lives or dies, it's sort of immaterial. A uh, bit of a shame that the Sand King got his uh, epicenter interrupted. That was a nice dream coil there by Puck. Puck finally built his boot, so uh, we'll feel good about yeah. that. <laughs> Uh, Alex, meanwhile, he's, uh, he, on the Rubik, has got his Boots of Speed and his, uh, Scroll of Town Portal. Rubik absolutely being stuck in the 5 roll. Uh, he's got some more wards coming in. Not expendable items are for chumps. 
but saying that you don't really need much on the Rubik anyway. He can just stand in there, feel the bell, telekinesis, and then put up all Radiance mid tower is getting banged up. He's took. His toolkit really does, uh, really does suit him well for a five roll there. Like, like you said, there's really not a great deal that he needs. And yeah, it would be nice to have the extra levels to have the null field, but um, it's it's not strictly speaking what he's there for. Attention, are looking at this uh, tier two on the bottom lane. Mm. Bottom towers getting the business. There's uh, there's no forklift from what gaming. Uh, we got everyone sort of really. Really spreading out here. There's not going to be a dream call to try them all together, and we're throwing out the uh, shadow poisons for the vision. Boom! There it goes. So, uh, Ascension probably not going to be snuck up on, and yeah, those dream coil, those uh, illusory orbs, sorry, are just way too easy to see coming. Meanwhile, it looks like Bear Manon is going to try and get this tier one top. Uh, Ascension do still have their forklift, and there it goes. Radiance top towers taking hits. And wow, three teleports. Yeah. Perhaps hoping that he would Crazy get teleports. and hang around, but uh, he's straight out of there. TP's away mm. for safety. I, I think that they were trying to bait him a little bit by delaying those TP's. There was the forklift, then there was a little bit of a delay, so I'm not sure if there was a little bit of mind games being played there, but uh, Bear Manon certainly didn't want to get caught. Uh, didn't want to get caught out there. And he's getting fairly close to his BKB. He's got his Mithra Hammer in hand, and Myers is nearly ready again, so... That's not all that far off. And it looks like Clockwork is going to be building an Arganums uh, now that he's got that mech finished. Wasteless still resolutely farming those neutral creeps. He's got these uh, just hit level 11, so that's going to be a level 2 wall of replica, which is which is great to have. And it's up! Max Gamoga Club sitting in stash. Yeah, uh, presumably going to be a BKB. Unle unless we're going to see some new meta like, like you know, Saint and Yasha Magnus. <laughs> This stage possible. He goes, goes down heavily. And that's the last out We've of got power. Our... Drops down for mm. what gaming? Uh, they, they're going to need to have to... They, they're, ugh, words. They're going to have to muster a fair deal of momentum to break that high ground now. Um, of course, as far as Push and Creep Waves goes, Momentum is something they absolutely have in spades. The uh, Caustic Finale very nicely cleaning up all of these Shockwave Creeps. Uh, and they've got three lots of Mana Boots on their team. Quetz having Boots of Travel. When you see the Shadow Demon with Boots of Travel, you know that he's had a good game. Radiant Stop Towers <laughs> taking hits. Boots of Travel, what's going on here? <laughs> Absolutely not, and we may see we may see a rush here. They will have been spotted by that psionic trap. Radiant top towers. So uh, what gaming what gaming do have vision there? Are they gonna try and get a nice tower. illusory orb dream coil in? Framidal sort of just sitting there. Maybe no, they're the party, just. Absolutely not. It uh, it looks like they've sort of resigned themselves to it. Yeah, there's um. Radiant's top. Yeah, that look. All right, Gyro is, you know, when he's been played as a carry, this this, this is not what you want to see on an enemy Gyro. He's Radiant's just got boatloads of damage, right. heaps of attack speed, magic immunity to boot. Very quick TPs there from Ascension Gaming. They don't want to lose his tower, but they've. They're not going to catch anyone out. Uh, what gaming are being very, very careful. As soon as they see a TP or lose vision, they're bailing straight out. That was Hawkeye down. Absolutely. There. We've got the BKB up on the Sven now, so um, he'll be able to sort of play a little bit more balls out as far as the team fights go now. But yeah, Radiant what gaming? Um, they they're very aware that they're sort of on on the losing side at the moment, and they don't want to uh, they don't want to give Ascension another inch, so they are being very very cautious, which is probably uh, which is probably well warranted at this point. 
We got Puck sharing the ward duty a little bit. Ruben, why don't you, you do that? Alex, what are you going to do with that extra money? The dire might want to mine the top tower. I am tower. something nice, Never. like more ward. <laughs> So uh, pushing up onto the high ground, unfortunately the creep wave couldn't last there. Uh, what gave me very nicely aggroing the creeps and pulling them behind the tower. So that uh, so that Ascension would have to tank the tower with their heroes. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty uh, that in power right on Romantic is pretty huge, especially with the uh, with the Eagle song. And we've got one on Intel as well, just for good measure. <laughs> Even that Trouble saying, brewing at Radiant's bottom what tower. they can defend this rack for quite a while here. They, they haven't used anything yet. They're holding everything in reserve. They've got the wall. They've got back in. Bit of a Radiant's mess bottom yeah. tower has seen better days. Yeah, they've, they've got everything ready to go. So if Ascension wants to take this, they're really going to have to be sudden, like a big blinking RP skewer. But what gaming, like the longer that Ascension sit there, the longer that what gaming have to just go back to the fountain for a little bit. Just, uh, you know, just shore up their defences. They've even put down this defensive sentry here, assuring that Ascension get no high ground vision, so it's going to be extremely difficult for Magnus to line up that RP. Of course, the rocket does help, I suppose. Man Romantic popping the BKB. Manning up a it. little just to get the tower there. Dyer's top tower's getting beat down. <clears throat> Dyer's structure's looking fortified. Portcliffe is going to handily stop him. Uh, Intel not being afraid to pop them back for one hero. You know, it, it, it is the carry. They, they do want to make sure that Romantic doesn't go down. Uh, even though he does have the Aegis, it's not something that you want to see get pinged. Um, and look, oh dear, Dream Coil goes out. A stolen Shockwave, call down, and the uh, Hogs get popped. Very nice vacuum. Very nice RP from Spectral. I think that was a stolen reverse priority as well. Wall of Replica goes down. Aegis gets pinged. Bear Manon's popped his BKB in his ulti. He's dealing tremendous amounts of cleave damage. Intel gets caught in the pop cogs with the uh, God Strength Sven, which isn't really where you want to be. He is going to be easier for Romantic to pick off. Quetzal getting caught out a bit. Hawkeye's uh, two down. Hawkeye going down there. Buybacks from the Sven and the Darks here. They really, really don't want that tower to go down. So that's a 3 4 trade there, plus two buybacks inside of what gaming. Joe dropped, but Aegis was up, so. Not a, a good defense by what gaming, but still, I think the overall fight probably swung a little bit too much in Ascension's advantage. Hello, uh, ab absolutely. Still, still favoring Radiant side there. Yeah, they're like uh, they're like you said. It was uh, you know it was three to four uh, with the Aegis getting pinged. So I suppose you know four heroes aside dying, but uh, what gaming defending and just every time that Ascension pushed up that set of stairs, the tower took a tiny bit more damage. It's only on thirty two health right now. So um, I would I would say that Ascension uh, come yeah come come out the winner on that one. You know, he Dyer's heroes respawn, Roshan comes down. back with the Aegis, but that tower's not going to be healing itself. Got some gyro illusions up here. Trying to get the last Very edition. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic, Romantic unhappy with the outcome of that. Very nice deny by, uh, by Franimal there. Puck not being a hero with the highest innate damage or the best attack animation. So, you know, credit where it's due. <laughs> Green gyro just after that extra gold, although if you look at network craft, it doesn't really look like an eagle. Sven trailing behind, but not not too terribly. Still above clockwork there. Mm. For uh, for the position that what gaming have been put in, for how the kills are looking, uh, Bear Manon has been keeping up with net worth quite admirably. Uh, Ascension have been playing, uh, they've, they've been pushing the lanes very nicely, using that hand of Midas. Oh no, he didn't quite stack that camp. Um, but yeah, Bear Manon has really been finding He's just been making opportunities to farm, um, and now that he's now that he's got that BKB up, we you know that uh, that that team fight up top, just Sven being able to put on the BKB and wade in, uh, it does make a difference. Unfortunately, even with the spell immunity, he is still affected by demonic purge and reverse polarity. So, well, bit of a mixed bag. Assassin down there trying to get a bit of farm off those ancients. She's dropped behind quite a lot, so it's a good start at the laning phase. 
Five she had an incredible laning phase. 